Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, um, the week before, it's the week of Christmas, not the week before Christmas, it's the week of Christmas. Um, done a little meal planning yesterday of what I wanted to cook, and um, I just wanted to do a few simple things. Um, so today I'm going to make some lasagna. I'm going to get some of my meat sauce started. I can't even talk this morning. I'm going to get my meat sauce on the stove and get that started because i got a lot of stuff to do today. Um, let's be honest here. How many of you all have a designated place, or it's not designated, but a place that seems to be um, a catch-all type environment? I remember growing up when we were little, it was always our dining room table. I don't know why. Mom folded clothes. She laid them on the dining room table. I mean, just everything was... It was just like a catch-all, the dining room table. It seems to be like my dining room and my kitchen is a catch-all. I get up every morning um, and I clean. I mean, I never have a lot of dishes or anything in the sink because I'm one who always does my dishes because I like to do dishes. I mean, they it never really bothers me to do them, so I always do them, you know, after I cook. Uh, so that's really never an issue, but it just seems like, I don't know. There's wine glasses, they're still, they're clean that are still sitting over there on the table from um, where I washed them after our family Christmas get together uh, well over a week ago. Have it moved. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what to tell you what's over there. There's like a lot of stuff over there that clearly shouldn't be. And then I've got my table in the background there that we wrap presents on that um, I'm sure you can see it. It's back there. I've been wrapping this morning. Um, but we'll get to that too. But that seems to be a catch-all. And um, kazoo tight, Daisy. My dog's sneezing. So I'm just trying to get everything cleaned up. I had it really good and nice and clean yesterday. And then I don't know what happened. When I went to go to bed last night, I looked at it and I'm like, I asked Olivia, I'm like, what happened? I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. Well, I've got my stuff out that I'm going to make my lasagna with today. Um, it's just kind of sitting over there. I felt there was no reason to really put that up. But everything's just a mess and it's just like I'm just trying to get I hear my girl talking over there I'm just trying to get things ready for the holidays um, like I said I'm cooking lasagna today Olivia wanted a meatloaf so I'll probably make that tomorrow something simple and easy and um, Wednesday I don't know we could eat leftover meatloaf and lasagna uh, so Miss Daisy May um, so we should be good for Wednesday and Thursday is Christmas Eve so um, I'm not really sure what's going on then I have my son has to work Christmas Eve so we're trying to figure out we normally do our um, family get together you know the intimate family my sons and my husband and myself on Christmas Eve but where he has to work it's changing things up a little bit so that's all right it is what it is you know we'll just celebrate Christmas Day if we have to uh let's see what else is going on here oh i gotta make some fudge today uh, i always make fudge for my husband's work and i don't think that i done it last year i don't know why i didn't do it last year time just got away from me and i kind of feel like time's getting away from me again this year but i gotta make um i'm gonna make some peanut butter fudge and it is absolutely amazing if you like fudge peanut butter fudge any type of fudge it's just like a basic recipe and as it is so good I, you know I grew up on this my mom made it I really don't never make fudge unless it's you know around the holiday season I don't know why we just love it so much here but I got a few batches that I gotta make to that of that I've got to get my um, pasta sauce on my lasagna meat sauce on to cook because I'm gonna let that cook for about two or three hours I just love that stuff you know that recipe's already on here too so I probably won't be showing you that. Maybe a little peeps here and there. Um, it was funny. When I went to the grocery store yesterday, I noticed there was no Italian seasoning. Luckily, I always buy like, you know, a ton of stuff when I buy it. Um, I was just going to grab an extra one just in case I didn't have enough for this lasagna. Thank God that I do. There was none to be found. No Italian seasoning anywhere. I guess a lot of people, um, you know, some people make lasagna um, and stuff like that for Christmas, and I'm not making it for Christmas, I'm making it today. So, luckily, I have enough 
and my cabinet to get me through today. So I'm gonna attempt to get my onions and garlic chopped up for my lasagna here, get that going. It's gonna be a little difficult. My hand's a little sore today. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. So I might have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to get this stuff cut up without cutting my fingers off. And I guess we'll just see how that goes. Normally when I make my sauce, once I drain my um, meat, I always put it back in the pan with the onions and the garlic and just kind of stir them around to get the flavors going in the pot. But guess what? Your girl forgot to do that. So it is what it is. This is my little lesson to you that it's okay. You know, when you forget to do things, things happen and it's all going to come out absolutely amazing anyway. Because they're going to cook in this for many, many hours. So it's going to be delicious anyway. I just kind of done it out of habit. I'm gonna stir those in there. That's a lot of sauce. And the reason I'm making a lot of sauce, I had, had planned on only making one pan of lasagna, but I think I'm gonna see if, uh, you know, if my son works tonight, see if he might wanna come over. I'm gonna go ahead and get all my spices in here. And then I think I'm gonna start making my fudge. Okay, my lasagna is done. I want you to take a look at it. Look at that. I made two pans. I made a three layer for us girls and a big old pan of two layer. We like the three layer. My husband likes the two layer. I made enough for an army. Um, I was going to make some Texas toast, but somebody laid over and cried until I decided to make my regular just homemade buttered garlic toast, which is, we like that better anyway. I like it better. So, you seen the fudge. The fudge recipe is already on here. My meat sauce recipe is already on here. I'm tired. It's almost six o'clock. I've got a salad going over here. Been on my feet since 6.30 this morning. I'm ready to go sit down and eat and enjoy the rest of my evening. So you know I appreciate you watching. You know I love you so very much and I'll see you on the next one.